Hi, welcome. Here at Film Oxford, we've got two new cameras, and we're going to show you today how to use them. They're the Sony HXR NX200. Now, the first thing we need to do is to put the battery in. I've got one in my pocket. We slot it in through here. First, we have to make sure that the lens cap comes off and we put it somewhere safe inside a bag. And now we have to, to turn on, we flip this like so and turn it this way. And then the on switch is just here. The unusual thing that Phil Moxford has got is we've got an extra cable here for the audio, which means that when you've got your headphones on and you walk away, you're not just going to damage the camera by pulling it. Let me take you through what's on the screen. Uh, the easy bits, uh, you have your volume level uh, at the bottom right corner, you have your uh, battery level in the top left corner. Okay, so this bit here, which uh, currently shows 9 dB, is what we call the gain. Uh, that is basically how much light is boosted uh, through the camera. The way to alter it is if you uh, press this gain button here, as you can see it changed to 15 dB and now I can increase it with the lever on the most left side. And as you can oh. see, it gets lighter and lighter. However, as you can see, uh, it goes lighter, but with, at the expense of uh, being more, what they call it, noisy. So here are the three rings in the camera. They all have a purpose. Starting from the innermost, which is the iris. Uh, with uh, the iris, you can manipulate the light. So as I move it to the right, it gets darker. And if I move it back to the left, it goes light again. Uh, or you can say clockwise and counterclockwise. The middle ring is the zoom. If I turn it clockwise or to the right, it zooms out. And if I turn it counterclockwise or to the left, it zooms back in. All right? And the outermost ring is for adjusting the focus. I'm going to show you how to set the white balance on this new Sony camera. You need to make sure your white balance is not on auto. So what you do is you press white balance and you should get this sign either A or B to come up. Next what you want to do is go to your menu. Click menu and then what you'll see is you have the camera setting. You want to go over and then work your way down until you see white balance set. Then you want to click white balance set. The next step is to make sure you have a white piece of paper in front of the lens in the lighting that you want to film in. Once you have the white paper in the full frame, then you want to simply just click set. And that's it. That's how you set your white balance. Thanks for watching. If you'd like to learn more about all aspects of film, visit the Film Oxford website.